The robot is powered to Earth to learn all about our animals. Let's join Zeke on his adventure as he discovers life on the farm and meets animals like these cows. We'll get to know the alpaca and do some horsing around. Strap on your explorer boots and hold on tight as we venture into Zeke's animal world. Do you know what sort of noise a donkey makes, Zeke? Let's listen. That's right, donkeys say ee or. You're right, Zeke. Donkeys do look like horses, but there are some differences. Donkeys are smaller than horses, but their ears are much bigger. A donkey may not be able to run as fast as a horse, but they are more sure-footed. That means that they can walk in rocky and mountainous areas without tripping or falling. A male donkey is called a jack. A female donkey is called a jenny. And although they have a reputation for being stubborn, both can be great helpers on the farm. After a hard day's work, donkeys have a healthy appetite and love a big feed of their favorite food, hay. Never stand behind a donkey, Zeke. They can defend themselves with a powerful kick of their hind legs. Yes, even this baby donkey. Donkeys are very strong. They can carry riders and heavy things from one place to another. Some donkeys, like these ones, have very long and shaggy coats. What a cute little guy. I think he's looking for his mother. Donkeys are mammals, Zeke, and just like humans, the mummy donkey feeds her baby milk. So what have you learnt about donkeys, Zeke? We know that a male donkey is called a jack, and a female donkey is known as a jenny. Donkeys make a noise like this, ee or, and they like to eat lots of hay. Well done, Zeke. You're practically a donkey expert. OK, Zeke, let's meet our next farm animal. It's the sheep. And this is exactly the type of countryside that sheep love. Lots of rolling hills and lush green grass to graze on. That's right, Zeke. Sheep have a thick curly coat called a fleece. Every spring, the sheep are shorn. It's just like giving them a haircut. The fleece has to be removed in one single piece, and it's then used to make lots of woolen products. Zeke, did you know that sheep move around in large groups called flocks? The female sheep is called a ewe, the young are called lambs, and the male is called the ram. Do you know what kind of sound the sheep make, Zeke? Yes, it says ba ba. Can you make that sound too? This sheep is glad it's lunchtime. He looks very hungry, doesn't he, Zeke? Here's another flock of sheep living in dry, arid country. Sheep are hardy animals and can survive in different climates. That's right, Zeke, there are lots of different breeds of sheep. Some have short coats, some are very woolly, others have horns, and some have markings on their face, like this ewe. Sheep like to stay in a flock for protection. The strongest make their way to the middle of the flock so they will be safe from predators like foxes, wild dogs and wolves. Although some people think that sheep aren't that smart, some farmers say that they are quite intelligent animals. This sheep looks like he's been taught a few tricks, doesn't he, Zeke? Yes, Zeke, these little lambs do look like they're having fun. Oh, look, this one's having a drink from his mum. OK, Zeke, let's see what you've learnt about sheep. We know that the female sheep is a ewe, the male is a ram, the baby sheep are called lambs, and a group of sheep is called a flock. 
Good work, Zeke. Not bad at all. The next farm animal I'd like you to meet, Zeke, is the cow. Cows belong to the Bovidae animal family. They can grow in size from four to five feet tall and weigh between 500 to 600 pounds. Their favorite foods are hay, corn, soybeans, grass, and wheat. The name cow refers to the grown female only. A male is a bull and an infant is a calf. On the farm, a cow's job is to produce delicious fresh milk. The farmer will probably milk his herd twice each day. That milk will be sent to a factory and end up at your local store, ready for you to drink. If you're lucky enough to visit a farm, you might be able to taste milk that has come straight from the cow. Zeke, did you know that no two cows have exactly the same pattern of spots? Just like we have different fingerprints, each cow has a unique pattern too. That's right, Zeke, a group of cows is called a herd, and this herd is getting ready to be milked. To make all that milk, a cow has to drink around one bathtub full of water every day. The farmer is making sure the cows have enough hay to eat, because happy and healthy cows will give more milk, Zeke. Zeke, did you know that cows have very strong senses? For example, they can smell odors from up to five miles away. They can also hear high and low frequencies better than humans, and they can even see in color. Zeke, did you know that a cow's stomach has four different compartments? They also regurgitate their food and chew cud. It doesn't sound like they have the best table manners, does it, Zeke? But chewing cud helps cows get the most out of difficult to digest foods like grass. A cow spends a lot of time eating, up to eight hours per day. Here's an easy question, Zeke. What noise does a cow make? That's right, cows like to moo. There are lots of different breeds of cows. Some have patterned hides, some are plain, and there are short and long-haired varieties too. That's right, Zeke. Cows can look very different. These ones have long ears. But there's one thing about cows that stays the same no matter what type of breed. Cows are very smart creatures and can be easily trained. Most cows even know when it's milking time and can make their way to the shed without the farmer rounding them up. Yes, Zeke, cows are lovely, gentle animals, and to think they can produce up to 90 glasses of milk every day. So what else have we discovered about cows? We know that cows are very smart animals and that they have a fabulous sense of smell. A group of cows is called a herd, and a cow's stomach has four compartments. I hope you enjoyed learning about cows, Zeke. All right, Zeke, it's time to ruffle some feathers and get to know our next farm animal. Say hello to the chicken. This farmer is feeding her chickens and collecting the eggs that they have laid. A male chicken is called a rooster, a female is a hen, and the baby chicken is a chick. Yes, Zeke, chickens do come in all sorts of beautiful color combinations. Their feathers can be black, brown, white, or speckled. And did you know that chickens can have four or five toes on each foot? 
Look at the feathers on this chicken. What an impressive style. Watch out, Zeke. It looks like these roosters are having a disagreement. Some chickens can be quite aggressive towards each other. Each chicken has its place in the flock, and it's called the pecking order. Of course, a chicken's main job on the farm is to produce eggs, and it takes them about 24 hours to lay one egg. Chickens like to have a cozy nest to roost. Roosting is when the chickens sit, rest, and sleep. It takes around 21 days for a chicken to hatch out of the egg, and then around seven weeks to be fully grown like these chickens. These chickens have been hard at work producing lots of eggs for the farmer. Oh, I almost forgot. A hen says, bok, 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 and a rooster says, cock a doodle doo. So, what have we scratched up about chickens, Zeke? We know they have beautifully colored feathers and that each foot can have four or five toes. Chickens produce eggs, and when a chicken rests or sleeps, it's called roosting. Good work, Zeke. Come on, Zeke, there's no time to rest. We've still got more farm animals to investigate. And this time, it's a very interesting creature called a llama. You're right, Zeke. Llamas do look a little like camels. That's because they come from the camel family. Llamas are very smart and easy to train. Don't worry, Zeke, llamas don't bite, but they do spit when they're annoyed, but that's mostly at each other. Zeke, a group of llamas is called a pack. Llamas are social animals and prefer to live with other llamas or herd animals like cows or sheep. This man owns these animals. I guess that makes him a llama farmer. Llamas are vegetarian, Zeke, so they only eat plants, and they have very effective digestive systems. Start running, Zeke. These llamas are on the move. Hey, did you know llamas can live to the ripe old age of 20 years? Llama wool is warm and luxurious and popular with spinners and weavers. On the farm, llamas are used for breeding stock, as pack and driving animals to help pull and carry heavy things, as well as wool production. Zeke, llamas communicate by moving their ears, body and tail into different positions, as well as making a shrill alarm call and a humming sound. Yes, Zeke, llamas are gentle creatures. Let's take a look at what we've learnt about llamas. We know that a group of llamas is called a pack and that they are very smart. We also discovered that llamas are vegetarians and they spit if they get annoyed. That's a lot of learning about llamas, Zeke. Zeke, our next farm animal, is a close relation to the llama. And although there is a family resemblance, the alpaca is a different animal altogether. Alpacas are shorn for their valuable fleeces. Their wool is made into luxurious materials. Alpacas come in several colors, including white, black, caramel, and red. These black alpacas look like their hair has been styled into dreadlocks, don't they, Zeke? But this is just the way the wool grows naturally. That's right, Zeke. Alpacas like to graze on grass and hay. Alpacas are alert, curious, calm and predictable. They need the companionship of other alpacas and like to huddle together. Alpacas have soft, padded feet and long, graceful necks. Alpacas make a variety of sounds such as clicks and snorts. But did you know they're best known for their humming? These interesting farm animals have a gentle nature and also make great family pets, Zeke. 
alpacas live to be between 15 to 25 years old. They're smaller than their cousins, the llamas, standing about three feet tall. Llamas give birth once a year to one baby called a cria. Zeke, some farmers say that their alpacas are so happy, they always have a little smile on their face. Well, this fellow certainly seems to find something amusing. Zeke, alpacas only have teeth on the bottom of their mouth. The top is a hard dental pad against which they grind their food. I've enjoyed meeting the alpaca. Let's remember what we've learnt about them. We know they spend most of their time grazing and that they have soft padded feet. They're a gentle animal and their coat is used to make beautifully soft fabrics. We certainly packed in a lot about the alpaca, Zeke. This animal is called a goat and it's the most common farm animal in the world. The goat has been providing man with its products, milk, meat, fiber and leather for over 5,000 years, Zeke. Goats are excellent climbers and like to live around cliffs. They prefer rocky ground and a dry climate, Zeke. Goats live in herds and feed on grass, weeds, shrubs and other vegetation. A female goat is a doe, a male goat is a buck, a baby goat is a kid. Zeke, male goats have beards that grow longer as they get older. Female goats sometimes grow beards too, but they're not as noticeable. Oh, Zeke, look at this little kid having a snooze. Shh, don't wake him. Most people believe that goats will eat almost anything, but this isn't true. Goats like to smell food to make sure it's clean and tasty. Zeke, did you know that goats have very good eyes and can see well in the dark? Yes, Zeke, these goats do have very long horns, but some breeds of goats don't have any horns at all. Goats can climb, run, crawl under fences and jump quite high. Goats can even stand on their back legs to reach tree branches and shrubs. OK, let's review the facts about goat, Zeke. The female goat is called a doe and male goats can grow a beard. Goats are good climbers and their special eyes let them see well at night. Well done, Zeke. Zeke, our next farm animal is a favorite with most people. This beautiful creature is the horse and it's played an important part in transportation. Some horses have been bred so that they can be ridden with a saddle, while other breeds can be harnessed to pull objects like carriages and plows. Zeke, a female horse, is called a mare. The male is a stallion and the baby horse is a foal. Horses are herd animals and become very attached to the other horses in their herd, Zeke, and to humans that care for them. These horses are used to carrying their owners from one place to another. Horses are highly intelligent animals and can be trained to follow commands. There are many different breeds of horse, Zeke, and they come in all sizes and lots of different colors. Just like humans, horses are mammals. That means that they feed their babies milk. Horses like to graze on green grass. They also enjoy a good feed of hay and special treats like carrots, apples, and sometimes even sugar cubes. I think this horse would like a sugar cube right now. Horses' bodies are built for speed, Zeke, with powerful leg and rump muscles, long slender legs and large lungs. 
horse's ears can move forward, to the side, or to the back to hear sounds. Their large eyes are on each side of their head so they can see objects at a distance and detect movement from almost any direction. Zeke, did you know that horses are considered old at 20? But some live as long as 30 or 40 years. The oldest known horse lived to be 50 years old. Yes, you're right, Zeke. This horse does like being patted. He's obviously very friendly and has been well trained. OK, let's saddle up and rope in the facts about horses, Zeke. Horses are mammals and like to graze. The male horse is called a stallion and the female horse is called a mare. I hope you enjoyed learning all about horses, Zeke. Zeke, this is our last farm animal and you could be forgiven for thinking it was a duck. But if you listen carefully, it's not saying quack quack. It's saying honk, honk. That's right, these feathered friends are called geese and they're another very useful and important animal down on the farm. Geese like to eat slugs, snails and worms and even baby mice. They love to forage around the pastures looking for tasty morsels to gobble up. So watch out, Zeke. A group of geese is called a gaggle. They have a funny, waddling way of walking, and when they're all together, they can be very noisy. Because they make so much noise, geese make excellent security guards. If they're startled, they will start honking very loudly. The female is known as the goose. The male is called a gander, and the baby is a gosling, Zeke. Geese have been known to live for up to 15 years. On the farm, geese lay eggs that are much bigger than a chicken's. They're also farmed for their feathers and their meat. Stand back, Zeke. Sometimes geese can get a bit aggressive, but it's usually towards each other. OK, Zeke, what have you learned about geese? A group of geese is called a gaggle and a male is known as a gander. Geese make a honking sound and they can live for 15 years. I hope you've learned a lot about our farm animal, Zeke. See you next time.